Google's been working to add a number of different smart features to its Gmail service for a while now. However, in order to offer some of these features, Google has to go through your personal data, such as all of your Gmail, even your web searches, SMS messages, things like that, to do things like find out how you speak, the type of words you would use whenever you reply to somebody, stuff like that. So while most people enjoy these type of conveniences, not everybody wants Google going through all of their data. So today I want to show you how to disable Gmail's smart features. Now Google's going to be rolling out a new prompt from within the Gmail website to make sure you know what data Google is going to go through in order to provide you with these features. But I know a lot of people just don't care and would rather go ahead and disable these features quickly. And we can actually do that by going into the settings area of our Gmail account. Now right here I've pulled up the website for Gmail because not all of these features are currently available in the Gmail app settings area. Now this is probably going to change in the future, but for now, it's typically best to just use the website for Gmail. So what you're going to want to do is go to the settings area of Gmail, and it should default you to the general tab, which is where we want to be. And we just need to scroll down. You're going to see some stuff like grammar, spelling, autocorrect, which are all options that you can turn on or off right here. But the options that actually have Google going through your data is the Smart Compose that we can just tap off, the Smart Personalization, which we can tap off. There are nudges that we are to disable. And lastly, the smart reply, which we can disable. Now, another feature that I want to show you is actually in the inbox tab of the settings. And it's in here that you're going to find what's called importance markers. That's what Google is using to analyze your new emails to predict what's important and what's not. Again, Google has to go through your data to find out what's important or not. So there are a couple of things here. One, we can simply tell it to not use your past actions to predict which messages are important. I know a lot of people want to customize this feature specifically. However, we can also just tap on the no markers option to disable this feature entirely. And that's how to disable Gmail's smart features so that Google is no longer going through your personal data in order to offer certain features in Gmail.